High Adventure. Tonight, Ron Evans takes us to Italy during the Second World War in his exciting story called Loot. It, lad. We'll be old down here for some time to come. I thought we were supposed to be winning this blooming war, Sarge. We are, Sims, but you can't blame the Germans for making the occasional counterattack, now can you? Yeah, but he would choose now, wouldn't he? Just when we're stuck like a front on a bleeding patrol. We're not going to stay here, are we? Well, where else? I mean, you can see how the Tiger tanks came down the valley and cut us off, can't you? All we can do is sit here on the high ground and wait for them to go away. <laughs> and enjoy the sunshine of an Italian summer. Oh, Sarge, the Tigers could dig in and sit there for weeks, even months. Well, let's wait and see what develops. If right? you ask me, this war was going better before the eye ties up and changed sides. It just brought more German troops into Italy, that's all. That's all, he says. You tell that to Snozzer and Frank and the rest of our mates who left lying dead down here in the valley. Cut some bits by machine gun fire from them Tiger tanks. Oh, stop going on, Sims. We're fighting a war, not playing hopscotch. If we live through this lot, it's a bonus. So just look at it like that. It wouldn't be so bad if we could make something out of all this. You know, like the soldiers in the olden days used to. Charlie's right, Sarge. Think of it. You get to keep all you can carry off. That's called looting. And it's punishable by death if you're caught. The South's fighting a ruddy war. You get, you get in front of a bullet or something. I mean, what's the big difference? Oh, we started out as a 13-man patrol, and I get stuck with two loony survivors. Anyway, there's nothing to loot in this miserable, poverty-stricken country. You never know your luck, Sarge. Marshal, yeah, the British have not advanced so far. No, the enemy advance group was thrown back this morning by a panzer thrust. Yeah, here I is, Marshal, we can try. Then we will do it as you order. Yeah, now. Danke schön. Lieutenant Green, come over here. It was the fifth panzer group reports they have consolidated their position and they are digging in. That was a call from Berlin, from the Reich Marshal himself. He has more important matters on his mind than military successes, it would appear. So we have a mission to perform, you and I. Get a lorry and ten men. Well, that's Herr Colonel, we are monitoring. I said there's there a more important matter to attend to. The Reich Marshal wishes to add to his wonderful art collection. And he wishes me to personally supervise the operation. Okay. <laughs> After all, who cares if we lose a million men and a thousand tons of equipment, huh? At all costs, a few Tintorettos and a Rembrandt must not be allowed to fall into enemy hands. Blimey, look down there. That's German infantry moving up the valley. Oh, blimey, we could be stuck here till Christmas. Seems like they're planning to stay. And what's worse, they'll be coming up here to dig in. We'll have to pull back to the next valley. Oh, that'll put us further away from our position. It can't be helped, lads. We can't take on a whole German army corps with two rifles and a Bren gun, now can we? What if the Germans are in the next valley? Then we'll have to sneak through under cover of night. How do we do that going forward, I There's suppose? too many of the blighters. Look at them. They're like bleeding ants. Yeah. Now, come on, lads. There's no time like the present. Why the delay? Every lorry is commandeered to move equipment to the front. By whom? Direct orders from General Falkenberg. Mine or from Reich Marshal Göring himself? Here. That lorry coming in. We take that. Show the drivers this authority. Did you get the men? Uh, yeah, uh, Colonel. Uh, not exactly fighting men. Oh, no, what do you mean? The headquarters staff. Bunch of filing clerk? Yeah. Ah, they have to do. As long as they're strong enough to carry a few paintings and sculptures from Count Mussini's villa. Right. Well, the valley's clear of enemy troops. Now, come on. Let's make tracks up the other side. The lieutenant had a map before he got killed. Yeah, I know. I've got it. I took it from his body. Oh, it should be useful, then. Like, there might be a road. 
You see, it's bloody well killing me. Yeah, well, it's... Uh... Yeah. Look, we stay off the roads. Still, it's as well to take a gander, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Look, there's a road here on the other side of the hill. It oh, yeah. goes to this village here. There's nothing more than a dirt road, I'd say. Yeah, you're right. The village don't look much more than a few houses, is it? Hey, what's that there, Sarge? Hey? It's a bit bigger than the others, isn't it? Large farmhouse, I'd say. Yeah. If there's no Germans about, we could go there. Maybe get some food and kip. Yeah, we'll try it, Sims, if there's no Germans about. Well, they're all going forward to tackle the Eighth Army. Come on, then. It's over the hill and halfway down the other side. Um, these damn roads. The village is about three kilometers on. Is there no village? Well, we don't go that far. Good. These village people can be nasty now. They've switched to the enemy side. Yeah. Uh, it's a funny world we live in, eh, Grief? The Italians are like the French. Always wanting to be on the winning side. Uh, <laughs> you admit the Allies are winning? Oh, I'd be a fool if I didn't. We did not retreat from North Africa because of the climate. Look, there's a plane ahead. What? It's one of theirs. Stop the lorry. Everybody out! Oh, oh, oh. That was one of ours that went over. Yeah. yeah. Be careful, lads. Looks like he's found a target. It's coming from over that way. Look, there he goes, making a second run. All right, all right, Sims. Just keep down. If he sees us, he won't have the difference. Look, it's only a few yards to the top of the hill. We can get a good gander from up you there. You stay where you are, Lock. The sergeant's right, Charlie. We've seen enough of this bloody war as it is. Yeah, he's done his stuff. Yeah. Lucky blighter's on his way home. Yeah. I wish I was. Oh, I don't know. It's rather nice out here. Hey? Oh, well, if we were back at the front, you'd be digging in now and waiting for the Tigers to come and get you, wouldn't you? My, my, that's a change of tune from you, Sarge. <laughs> He's gone rebel. Yeah. No, no, we're still fighting a war, lads. But there's no reason why we shouldn't appreciate what we got. Yeah, I know. Now, come on, let's take a look at what that must be. A couple of bullets in the engine doesn't help for you. Uh, it's not too serious. It's this pipe and this wires are damaged. Yeah, I can fix it in 15 minutes. Good, make it start then. Hello. I go and sit over there on the bank and admire the countryside. It's not often we have a chance to appreciate the beauties of nature these days. Oh, come on, come on, don't stand there, Grief. Get some of the men to help you. There it is, Sarge. And it's no farmhouse. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it must belong to the local landowner. It's like a miniature or the palace. You reckon we'll find anyone at home? We can take a prowl around and see, can't we? Looks pretty deserted from here. Hey, we was talking about loot before. Maybe we'll find something worthwhile here, eh? Well, you'll know more of that, Lock. Right now, I'm more interested in finding some grub. My belly thinks me throat's been cut. Oh, we still Look. can't see what that Mustang was driving. It worries me. Eh? Why? Well, that's obvious, you ruddy idiot. There's got to be something around here worth firing on. Well, sad, there isn't a living soul in sight. We can't see everything from here. You see how the road bends out of sight? Who knows what's there? Oh, never mind. We'll know soon enough. Meanwhile, I want to get my hands on some food. All right, all right, all right. Let's get closer to the house, Ed. You see the way the trees go right round the back of the road? Mm. Well, that's perfect cover. Yeah. It just leaves a ten-yard sprint to the back of the main building. Sims, you go that way. Keep them to the left-hand side. Right. Lock, you take the right. Okay, Sal. I'll go through the middle, and we'll meet at the edge nearest the entrance. If one of us runs into trouble, the others must stay away and use their initiative. All right? Go on, Charlie. Ask him what initiative means. Oh, shut up, you stupid. It means use your novel. Yeah, that's right, Lock. Use your novel. I'll bet there's nobody in for miles around. Yeah. If you ask me, they've all packed up and gone somewhere safer. Yeah, well, it's hard to think of anywhere safer than here, right? No. Hey, look. I... The back door's wide open. Yeah. So what we do is run in and make ourselves at home. But we search the place first. Yeah, it'd be funny us having a snack in the kitchen and a, a German machine gun position up in that tower. You can uh, see from here there's nobody up there. We can't take chances. Hey, hey. Look there. Look me, woman. There you are, you see. You can't be too careful, can She's you? hanging out washing hot. It's a Monday morning in Everton Valley. Which is a very good sign. Hey, she's finished now. Yeah, wait a minute. Five items of clothing, you see that? Yeah. All female. Yeah. <laughs> That's an even better sign. Perhaps she's living here all alone. Yeah, that makes sense, Sarge. All right, then. Come on, let's get in after her. But no rough stuff, eh? All oh, right. The wops are on our side now. She could be useful to us anyway. We'll all be perfect English gentlemen. That may be too much of a strain on you, trooper lock. <laughs> so just treat her like you would a sister. You know, come on, lads, let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 
Okay, okay, sit here, It's all right. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. Pilari Inglis? Si. Si, a little. Yeah, good. Uh, you alone here? Si. Sims, lock. You go and check. Right. And then come right back here, all right? Right. You bet. This is where the food is. You are English soldiers? Yeah, yeah, that's right, senorita. But it is said in the village that the English soldiers are many kilometers to the south. Yeah, you're right again. You could call us an, uh, an advance guard. But the Germans are close. Many of them over in the next valley. Yeah, well, you, uh, you could say we're keeping out of their way. Uh, tell me, do you own this place? Uh, this is Count de Mazzoni's country villa. It is my work to look after it. Ah, so you're the housekeeper then. Oh, it's a grand place, isn't it? The Count is a grand man. Uh, where is he? Now, we hear many stories. He was a high officer in the army. Yeah. But when Italy came to the side of the Allies, it is said that the Count went into the hills and joined the partisans. I see. So you're not expecting him home for some time, then. Tell me, uh, are the people in the village uh, friendly? They would welcome you, if that is what you mean. They have been waiting many months for the English soldiers to arrive. No Germans around here? Only those in the next valley. The Germans never come up here to the villa. The road is bad, and they fear the partisans. Oh, well, that's good. What's your name, senorita? Gina Mondoresi. Gina, hmm? That's a pretty name. Well, I hope you've got some food around. We could eat a dead horse raw. Oh, I will make you food. Oh, and there is some good wine in the cellar. Oh, lovely. I think the Count would wish me to treat you as honored guests in his home. Oh, that's nice, that's isn't it? Yeah? you got to see this to believe it. See what? The loot. I mean, the pictures and things. The place is like the old Eat Gallery. Look, I don't know a Van Gogh from a Walt Disney, but I know they're not picture postcards hanging in there, don't you? He is talking of the Count's art collection. It is a very fine, perhaps one of the best in all Italy. She's telling no lie. Uh, did you find out what you went to look for? There's nobody here but the woman. Where is Sims? Looking over the loot. Ah, I mean the pictures. Uh, Gina is about to make us some food. Oh, marvellous. Then she can tell us which pictures are good and which are rubbish, eh? The Count of Masoni does not collect rubbish, as you call it. Well, that'll make it easier. Mm. Well, I like the eggs and bread, but what's this stuff? That's salami. Look, never mind the grub. Now the woman's gone off. Let's talk about all that loot. Oh, what about it? Listen, if you two little crooks are planning to carry great canvas paintings on your backs all over Italy, I think you're in for a big disappointment. Easy on there, Sarge. We ain't crooks. Yeah. Just a couple of squaddies looking for a bonus. That's right. I mean, it ain't been easy battling our way through from El Alamein. We done our bit, and now we're looking for something to make it all worthwhile. Like a Rembrandt or two. Well, what's wrong with that, then? The big brass load airbags with goodies and call them souvenirs. But you can't call a Rembrandt painting a souvenir. And besides, taking anything from here would be stealing from the count. He's an ally, remember? He wasn't a year ago. You can't backdate morality. Look, Sarge, if we don't nick the stuff, somebody else will. Come on, see it our way. Yeah. How would you get it from here, anyway? Oh, we can get a cart and a couple of mules from a village. Yeah. Then we find a good place to bury the stuff. And after the war, we come back and collect. We'll find something waterproof to wrap the things in. And what about Gina? She's going to make a fuss, isn't she? Well, so what? If she makes a lot of noise, we can lock her away somewhere. Yeah, we, we can even come back here and release her after we bury the loot. Yeah. Oh, well, all right, let me have a look at the stuff, then. I don't fancy going back to lorry driving when this war's over. Hey, talking to lorry, Sarge. Hey? What's that coming up the road? Bleeding hell. God, no. It's a German army lorry. Maybe the woman called them. No, I doubt that. She said the Germans never bothered with this place, but look, here they come. They must be looking for something. Oh, what about all our lovely loot? Well, there's only one lorry. We... We could take them on. Yeah. Oh, on. And the lorry's better than a bloody cart and mules. You idiots. If that lorry's filled with crack SS troopers, they'll swat us like mosquitoes. The Germans, they're coming. Yeah, I know. We've seen them. We've seen you them. You must go the disease. They will not find you there. You mean there's no decent hiding hole in the house? They might search. You will be safer outside. She might tell them, Sarge. Why would I do that? Oh, quickly. There is no time. Oh, the little lady's right, lads. Now, come on. I'll keep you right here. Down with you. Seems to be nobody at home. They will have evacuated the place, Colonel. I hope they haven't taken the object's dart with them. The rice marshal would be quite angry. It could even put him off tonight's orgy. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a low opinion of the rice marshal. Yes, there must be some truth in the rumors, Vic. Dart, stop here. I shall go inside and assess what is worth taking. You organize the men to pack and load the indicated pieces. Ah, 
Young woman, who are you? Uh, my name is Gina. Mm-hmm. Is there anyone else living here? No. I am Colonel Stauffer of the Waffen SS. I am charged by Rice Marshal Goering to take certain valuable items from this villa into safekeeping. Does my employer, Count Massoni, know of this? The Count is a terrorist, living like an animal in the hills. He has forfeited any rights he might have had. You are a thief. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of truth in that. <laughs> but, my liebling, I'm only carrying out my orders. <laughs> Perhaps there are people in Berlin who believe we can defeat the Allied armies by collecting art treasures, eh? So, who am I to dispute their wisdom? Maybe they intend to use them as missiles to destroy London and Moscow. Who knows? Just imagine the enemy's panic when they are bombarded by Ming vases and Botticelli, eh? I find <laughs> your humor sickening. Yeah, now, that is a fine piece. Grief, take that. Hello. Well, the rice marshal's sources of information are good. Look here, Rembrandt. Oh, and another. <laughs> Grief, make sure these are well packed. And there is a fine Gauguin. Well, if you ever see Count Mazzoni again, congratulate him on my behalf for his excellent work. What did I tell you, Sarge? It's happening just like I said. What are you blathering about, Locke? I sent you to reconnoiter the front of the house. Is that how you report back? Oh, their SS troops are all right. And you know what they're doing? They're nicking everything of value from the house. These in bunch of Nazi rats. <laughs> so they beat you to it. We're not going to let them get away with it, though, are we? Oh, don't be daft, Lock. We're not taking on the SS with three guns and 15 rounds of ammunition. Come on, talk to him, Reggie. How many SS troopers did you see? Uh, there could be between eight and ten. Well, I'm ready to give it a go, Sarge. We could work our way round the front and take them by surprise. And what do we do when the 15 bullets have gone? Spit at them. So we just let them get away with it? Well, no. Well, what then? Now stop nagging and let me think for a minute. Well, they'll be loaded and gone soon. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right, then we'll take them on. Oh, good. An ambush down the road. We'll find a good spot, shoot out the tires and pin them down. Right. What then, Sarge? I don't know. Perhaps you two geniuses can work it out. Come, 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 come. Put the nails through the wood, not the canvas. How much more good? These three are the last. Good. If we can leave now, we'll be back at headquarters before nine tonight. Yeah. All right, get it all outside. Have you taken all your needs, Colonel? Yeah, I think so. Would you not like my kitchen stove? Or perhaps to raid the wine cellar? <laughs> the wine cellar. I wish I had thought of it earlier. I shall have to leave it all for the Count if he survives. May I thank you for your kind cooperation before I go? Brief, I want you to personally ensure that everything is carefully stowed away. Over here, you two. This is perfect. Yeah, it looks fine, but do you want us to stay together? Yeah, I do. You can see a couple of hundred yards each way along the road from here. Couldn't find a better spec. Uh, right, Locke. Let's work this out. Put yourself in their place. Being fired at from up here, what would you do? You mean, if there was ten or twelve of us? That's yes. fine. Charges. Push us out from cover. But you can't, can you, Locke? It's steep all the way along the road. Oh, yeah. yeah it'd take a lot more than a dozen men to storm this position. They can't climb up, but we can drop down. Yeah. Now, right, Sims, bearing that in mind, what would you do? Yeah, well, I'd split up my men and, and try to get round our front. Flash us out that way. But they couldn't do it without being seen, could they? Unless they ducked out of sight on the other side of the road and worked their way along. Which would take quite a long time. And remember, they don't know there's only three of us. Yeah, there's only five bullets each. Yeah, that's the part that makes me feel uneasy. Well, we'll just have to make every bullet count, Sarge. Right. Only shoot when you've got a specific target. Right. I'll shoot out the tire, and you concentrate on the men as they jump out of the lorry. Yeah, yeah. only one tire, Sarge. We want to be able to drive it away with the loot. <laughs> well, even in my wildest imaginings, can I ever see us succeeding? But yes, Locke, only one tire it will be. If we get them pinned down, what will we do then? Well, that's the bad bit. You two can think up the answer to it while we're waiting for the lorry to come back. And then if they do, we can always air it up the hill. Maybe grab one on the way and get his weapon and some ammo. Shut up and get in the position. They're coming. Right. Go on, Sarge. Take it easy. Patience. Get ready. Hey, good shot. <laughs> no. 
I'll be blowed. What's the matter? Where did you learn to shoot? You didn't even wink one of them. Could have told you I was a lousy shot. Well, it's a pity you didn't. I suppose you're a lousy shot too, Sims. Well, I'm no great shakes. Oh, no, ain't that all I need? Why aren't they shooting back at us? Well, they've either trying to find our position or they realise you're not worth wasting bullets on. Well, what now? Look, they've scarpered down the other side of the road. Keep your eyes peeled. Sims to the right, lock to the left. Right. Oh, watch for them trying to cross. I'll just one, one bullet and see what happens. <laughs> There could be anything from one to one hundred up there. What do you think? With all respect, Herr Colonel, if you are going to fight here with the lorry between us, there won't be much left to fight for. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I can see what has happened. Our counterattack on the British is attracting the partisans to close up behind us. We run into an advanced party. Yeah, and... they seem to be happy just to pin us down here. Yeah, and ask yourself why. <laughs> when their main group arrives, we'll be caught in a trap. Yeah, and all for the sake of some moldy old pictures. I don't like it, Grief. Neither do I, Herr Colonel. Tell me, what do you think the fat Reich Marshal Hermann Goering would do in this situation, huh? Fight and die for his work of art? So you want the truth? Oh, yeah, the truth, Grief. He would lose half of his weight running all the way back to safety. <laughs> You're well put. And I think we should do the same. Now, down the hill, there's nothing but scrub and rocks. We'll be out of sight of the partisans. So when we reach the bottom of the valley, it would be a clear march to its quarter. Yeah, Herr Colonel. Look back along the road, about a kilometer in the direction of the traveling. Yeah. <sighs> As I thought, more partisans. Good. Come, Grief. Pull the men back. There's no time to waste. Look, Sarge, we can't wait here forever. It's just me. The jetties have scarpered. There's no reason for them to. All right, Locke. Go down and take a look if you want to. Right. If you get your head blown off, only your mother will miss you. Yeah, and maybe your missus. Why, you know. He's only choking, Sarge. He better be. Well, they must be able to see him by now. Yeah, there's no movement. That's it. He's on the road. Like I said, he's all scarpers. Come on down. I don't believe it, Sims. No. I just don't believe in this kind of luck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> let's get the lorry's wheel changed and get the hell out of here. Will you, Sims? I'm doing my best, Sarge. It's as stiff as an old... Sarge! Hedges, hey, look down the road. Armed men, about 50 of them. Oh, blimey, oh, now no. we're in trouble. Well, they look like partisans. Ugly looking bunch, too. Legalized mafia. Charlie's right, Sarge. They shoot and ask questions later. And us with a fortune in stolen loot. But if they take a gander inside a lorry, well, we're cold meat. Now, wait a minute. You wait here while I go ahead and talk to them. This is going to need a lot of diplomacy. Uh, hello there. Bonjour. You are English soldiers, see? Uh, yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? Uh, well, we were caught behind the lines when the when the Germans counterattacked. I am the Count Masson, the leader of this group. Oh. We were marching to my villa when we heard a shooting. It was you. Uh, you are Count Masson. Ah, you know of me. Uh, the Eighth Army knows of my exploits, you see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you could say that. I, uh... I mean, this is a big coincidence. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Germans have just stolen the art treasures from your villa. And uh, me and my two men, well, we've uh, we just rescued him for you. Everything's there in that lorry. Oh, that is wonderful news. Uh, and the Germans, uh, where are they? Oh, they ran off down to the valley. Only three of you? Yeah. Oh, that's such bravery. Oh, well, uh, You will be my guests until your soldiers arrive here, see? Yeah, that'll be We nice. will drink vino and sing and dance and... <clears throat> oh, and the girls in the village will help you. Oh, see, my good. friends, such a bravery cannot go under reward. <laughs> oh, that's nice to know. <laughs> High Adventure is produced by Henry Duffenthal.